Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, I am talking about my robot cart. I decided a while ago that I should have a cart that I can drive around like one of my robots. I do get a lot of compliments whenever it is seen, mostly by people who have to move around heavy things. I'm using an old discarded transmitter. Uh, I'm only using two of the channels for this build. On the back of the cart is a power switch, which can easily be turned off if ever an issue. I also installed a display so I can monitor the battery more closely. As I said, uh, there's only two channels here that I'm using and both are controlled by the right stick. Basically, it's tank steering. Inside the cart, I have almost the full volume of space inside the bin. I chose this size of storage bin because of its dimensions, uh, its ease of moving through doorways and uh, loading into my car and such. The electronics are very straightforward. Uh, I'm Here I'm using a two-channel speed controller uh, connected to the receiver and a sealed lead acid battery. The motor wires go through the hole in the bottom of the bin uh, right to the motors. On the bottom of this thing is a three-quarter inch piece of plywood with two casters in the front. The motors are 223 RPM planetary gear motors that uh, connect directly to the wheels. The wheels, hubs, motors, and aluminum rails are all available from Servo City. I used a piece of styrene to protect the wires from getting snagged here on the bottom. The cart can easily handle 100 pounds of stuff. These bins all have about 20 pounds of junk inside of them, including the robot cart itself. Uh, I use the bungee cords just to make sure the bin, on, on, you know, the bins on top don't pop off when going over a bump. I know I could just make a cart with plywood and casters and push this thing around, but I love to build robots, and why not have one help in some small way? Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. Thanks, everybody.